Yo, what's up everybody? Phil Mouse here and today I am very excited to bring y'all some information and you know all the details for update number eight and this is going to be a good one everybody. Um, I'm really excited about this. It has a lot of things coming and a lot of things that people wanted and maybe for those people who have steered you know away from Titanfall in the past maybe this will bring them back. And maybe we can get, you know, the community a little bit bigger in Titanfall and we can keep supporting Respawn and what they do and, you know, all that. Because me personally, I think they're doing a pretty fantastic job as far as uh, connecting with the players and uh, taking in feedback and things like that. So uh, they're doing a pretty good job and this update's going to be fun and it comes out today. Uh, it is Thursday, October 23rd. It comes out today. Now, not all of the things listed in this come out today. Some of them, uh, I think one thing comes out November 5th. One thing comes out, I think, the uh, maybe 20-something of November. So, uh, we'll get to it in a little bit. But uh, let's go ahead and start. Now, one thing that everybody has kind of been wanting, anticipating, talking about is a brand new cooperative co-op whatever you want to call it game mode called horde mode and pretty much it's like survival from modern warfare 3 or kind of to an extent similar to zombies you face waves and waves of ai uh grunt specters and they got some new things they got like uh sniper specters uh excuse me Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm drinking a monster and it's kind of nasty. Uh, got me a little messed up. Uh, then cloak drones, which I think that is uh, the little drones that float around on Angel City that shoot that little green light for nothing. I think it's those, so uh, maybe those will be shooting at us or something like that and they'll be cloaked, so it'll be a little difficult to kill them. Um, we got suicide specters, which I assume will run at you uh and explode you know on command or whatever you know uh now just take in mind some of this is my personal opinion so uh don't hate me if you know i get something wrong or you disagree with something you know i'm just kind of guessing at it and it's you know my opinion uh, but we don't have to wait very long like i said it comes out today uh we also have nuclear titans uh range mortar titans which i'm kind of curious to see what that is uh, i assume they'll shoot bombs or grenades or something from a distance uh, so that'll be pretty interesting and then uh melee me ugh, melee resistant arc cannons which i'm i'm not too sure about that uh also in this horde mode you can get uh pretty much a stationary turret which is essential it's it's essentially a sentry gun from call of duty so we've all seen that we all know what it is and that'll be pretty cool and uh yeah they're uh th this horde mode is going to be pretty cool they have loadout crates which uh if i read it right i think it's you know you can go up to this little loadout crate and swap your loadout uh, you know, in game, mid game, you ain't gotta wait till you die or anything like that. So, uh, this horde mode is actually gonna be really, really fun in my opinion. Uh, especially if they, you know, up the uh, difficulty of the AIs. You know, because right now you can just kind of run by them and they don't bother you. They might shoot at you. You know, you might get hit by a bullet or something like that, but. <laughs> Other than that, it's, you know, not that hard, so hopefully Respawn has made it to where the AI are actually hard and, you know, they will kill you. Um, another thing that is coming is each star is, or uh, bleh, each map is going to have uh, a number of stars, like three stars, for instance, on Angel City. Uh, you can play this to where you can get like three stars uh 
I guess kind of the objective if you if you like challenges and you like completing challenges is uh, you know play every game mode on every map and get three stars at that game mode on that map specifically so uh, this should be pretty cool for all y'all you know challenge freaks uh, me myself I might you know try to get uh, three stars on every map on every game mode which uh, for me it'll, that'll be a little bit difficult because I'll have to start uh, actually playing all the game modes I don't play all the game modes I'll I play like one or two game modes mainly and and then uh, you know I'll, I'll play the other ones you know here and there uh, but anyway what they have next is ranked play and I'm not sure how this is gonna work uh, Call of Duty has a ranked play and I've never really truly been one to get involved in ranked plays so I'm not really sure about this one so I'm gonna leave that up to you to guess and uh, you know think what you want I personally have no clue about it so yes uh, but I, I did read that it's gonna be in beta form I think so uh, it won't be for sure in the game it, it, I mean it's gonna be in the game it's kind of gonna be like the uh, private match type thing uh, but anyways uh, another new thing is you know how when you're playing capture the flag and the score is tied and the match ends it's a draw it ends the match there's no evacuating or anything like that now there is sudden death in in capture the flag and that's gonna be pretty nice and pretty much if the score is tied at the end of you know regulation time it goes into now what is called a sudden death and you either uh, you know have to capture the flag uh, before the enemy does to win or I assume it can be uh, you know kind of like Call of Duty like search and destroy type stuff where you just search out all the enemy pilots and you know kill them and then you'll win the match so that'll be pretty cool uh, I'm actually I'm I'm I got this list in front of me, so I'm kind of trying to scroll through it. So uh, I apologize if you know it kind of seems like I'm I'm uh, you know pausing or anything like that. Uh, they're updating the mini map to where you can uh, see more of it. Is is how I took it. Uh, pretty much just an enhanced view of the mini map. So that's pretty cool. Uh, got some new Titan insignias coming. Two for the uh, Frontier Defense, and that's what the Horde mode is. It's called Frontier Defense. And then they got Private Match Burn Card Sets, which will not be, uh, you know, your burn cards from your uh, online play. It'll be, uh, which, I mean, all of it's online play, but you know what I mean. The, the multiplayer portion of it, where you play online against other players. Uh, in Private Match, like the... The host of the lobby can pretty much, th this is the way I took it, pretty much he can set up the rules just like you can in a private match in Call of Duty. Like, if you wanted to up the time and demolition to five minutes per round, you can do that. Now, the, the host of this lobby, I assume he can pretty much dish out the same burn cards to everybody. Like, if you wanted a uh, G2A4 amp to burn card for everybody like I'm using on this gameplay then everybody would have that and you know nobody would be uh, you know I, I don't know everybody would be the same I, I, I don't really know how else to explain it so uh, got a couple new additions to the black market got some uh, new Titan voices um, I'm not gonna go over those. It's that'll be pretty cool. New Titan voices. Uh, me personally, I think they should have more Titan voices because, uh, you know, this game is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love this game, but it does miss. It, it's missing a little depth in some things, and uh, a lot of people might not care or might not pay attention to it very often. But me myself. I get tired of hearing the same voice all the time, so uh, that 
that will be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, then they got something for the black market called uh, Forge Certifications. Uh, <clears throat> it's where, say, if you were like me, I'm stuck on Generation 8 trying to complete the Generation Challenges because they're hard as balls and you can't you can't get past this certain challenge there's something in there now in the black market where you can pretty much cheat and skip that challenge um, but there is uh, from what I read there's a new insignia for reaching generation 10 without you know cheating or skipping any challenges uh, as far as the regen challenges go um, so if you use that little cheater card or whatever it is Whatever it may be, you will not get that insignia for, uh, you know, reaching uh, Generation 10 legitly. So, uh, I would I would suggest not using it, you know, unless you absolutely have to. I might have to. I'm stuck on Generation 8. Been there since, you know, probably a month ago. Uh, Generation 8's challenges are pretty tough. So, uh, anyways, got some new game modes coming. I'm really excited for this. Uh, this should be fun, and like I, I'm super pumped about this. I cannot wait. Uh, one thing I don't really care for because I don't really play it that much. I just uh, Mark for Death. Uh, they have a Mark for Death Pro, so uh, I don't truly know how how this is supposed to be, but. Um, you know, for all you Mark for Death players, uh, you know, you might want to look into it or, you know, whenever you get the update, go straight into it and play it. I don't personally play Mark for Death. I don't like having pretty much a big target on me saying, come kill me, but I'll go play it every now and again because it is challenging, you know, because everybody knows where you're at at all times. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the Mark for Death Pro also is not coming today. It's coming November 26th. So uh, keep that in your back of your minds. Uh, it won't be here today. Um, this one I'm super excited for, and I've heard a couple people mention it, and uh, I'm glad it's finally here. Um, it's called Deadly Ground, and pretty much it's going to be, uh, you know, certain maps. Uh, it's not going to be every map from my understanding. <coughs> Excuse me. And... The ground is going to have electric smoke all over it, kind of like the electric smoke from the Titans. Uh, and you know, you know as good as I do, if you step in it or you're rodeoing a enemy Titan, you will die from that electric smoke. So this is going to really put your wall running skills uh, to the test, and we'll see how good you really are at wall running. And there's a couple people that you know I follow on YouTube and things like that and I tell you they won't have a problem uh, this one dude I watch <laughs> he can wall run like a mother and oh my goodness like I love watching him and he plays on PC too so dude's pretty legit um, anyways yeah that comes out November 5th uh, deadly ground does so that sadly is not today um, Moving on down the list, they got some new achievements, uh, which I don't I don't really care for that. Uh, then they got a whole shit ton of new features for the PC, which I'm not going to read through those, or I'm not going to try to act like I know what I'm talking about. Um, but they fixed some things as far as uh, bug fixes, what you know where they've been having problems for the PC and things like that. So. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. I'm sure they left out some things, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if, if you're excited for this update. I really think it's going to bring some people back to Titanfall, uh, simply because of the horde mode, uh, aka survival mode, aka form of zombies. Um, but yeah, it should be fun, uh, considering, you know, you have all these new things coming, like the, the sniper specters and the, uh, suicide specters, mortar titans, all that thing, all those kind of things, so, it should be pretty interesting, and, uh, I'm, I'm really excited for this one, I gotta work today, uh, 
so I won't get to play it until tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um, so if you play it before I do, uh, you know, and you watch this video, let me know how it is. I mean, some of the updates people have said, you know, have ruined the game, which me personally, I disagree. I truly still have fun playing this game. Uh, yes, there's not a lot of weapons. Yes, there's only three Titans, but they're balanced, so there's no reason to add more Titans. But I still have fun playing this game. Like, this is one game I don't really get mad at. I just, I get on and play, and it's fun to me. And I enjoy the shit out of it, so... Anyways, guys, uh, I'm pumped for this this new update. Deadly Ground sounds absolutely like killer fun. I'm I'm so pumped for that. Um, I'm I'm ready to try it because that's gonna make the game, you know, even more intense. Simply because you're trying to stay off the ground, so it should be fun. But anyways, guys, I will link all this down in the description. That way you can go check out the full details for yourself. So, uh, yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up if you're pumped for update number eight. Tell your friends to come back to Titanfall because it's going to get a whole lot more fun from here on out. So, anyways, comment, like, subscribe, and I will catch y'all on my next video. Peace!